Ugnayan is Tavern Gutenberg's first international art residency program in the Philippines. From October to November 2017, Maya Dabouville and Henri Lamy, together with visual artists Shafi, Abdul Sek, and Alexandre Beretta, organized seven workshops for street children, eight art events, eight artists made in grits. Maya, organizer of the Ugnayan Residency Project and co-founder of Tavern Gutenberg. Dabouville. Oui euh... Oui, d'accord, super. Bon, ben merci. Je vais, je vais passer. Là. Alors, Gnayan Population, c'est un peu la première résidence internationale de la taverne euh, ailleurs. Et on a décidé les Philippines parce que c'est chez moi et que Henri et moi, on connaît pas mal. C'est quatre artistes qu'on emmène aux Philippines et qui vont découvrir un pays, sa culture, euh, son marché de l'art et puis euh, les faire rencontrer un tas d'artistes euh, incroyables philippins et les faire collaborer les faire créer sur place pour participer à une série d'expositions. Et puis voilà, avant tout, c'est pour créer des expériences humaines qu'on va partager tous ensemble. Parmi les quatre, il y a Henri, bien sûr, parce que c'est le, le porteur de projet. Ensuite, on a Shofi, un jeune street artiste euh, suisse et français. On a Abdul Kalsek qui est sénégalais et qui est en résidence à la taverne depuis euh, un an maintenant. Et on a le jeune diplômé Alex Beretta qui a fait l'école de fresque à Lyon. Voilà, votre mur sur, des, sur du bois, et ce sera à vous de peindre le, le, le canvas. Le but, c'est que nous, on laisse au fond, euh, derrière, derrière, mon avis. À mon avis, la construction se fera tous ensemble, et, euh, et vous vous peignez derrière. Voilà, okay. euh, ensuite, le deuxième, c'est Slot Machine. Donc, comme je vous ai montré, c'est ouais. juste euh, les jambes. Oh, un petit chat. Et pareil pour Red Light, c'était Compagnie Apple, c'était les deux autres que j'avais qui sont ouais. là-bas aussi. Vas-y, on, on, je peux faire un tour Ouais. On prend. Ok, on prend. Ah, 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 trop cool! Ok, bah nous on est encore euh, à Pineapple Lab, I guess. Ok. Ouais, ouais. Ok, perfect timing. Ouais, ruins. Yeah. Awesome, à tous. Ok, on y va? Je peux porter celui-là, moi? Mais moi, oh! Mais moi j'ai mal d'eau. Allah. Allah. Allez. So there's yeah two things. One side, the international artists that we're helping, getting an immersion in this Filipino culture, and on the other side is really to give access to art to the Filipino people. Uh, the core of the program remains the free art workshops for the street children. So every weekend, for eight weeks, seven weeks, we're giving one free workshop for one of our partner foundations. So we have um, Stereo Foundation, Puerto Galera, Project Pro San Tondo, <coughs> Akai, Vierlani, and Asilo San Vicente de Paul in Old Manila. Uh, there's also a barangay in Puerto Galera we helped out. Um, so yeah, the, these kids are the main beneficiaries for us.
Isang layer na lang sa may ilong. Yeah. Oops. Ano na the muta? Ah oh, yeah, this. Ah, I gained muta. <laughs> then then you have. Kulangot. What is this you have? <laughs> oh yeah, I got some huge pimples. Or... <laughs> Part of our program is really to create all the uh, free public events. So this one is uh, one of our main uh, events, uh, family friendly, kid friendly. Um, so really the purpose is to share our passion with art and to make uh, the kids participate. All these artworks are going to be uh, in a silent auction right after the event. So if you want to help out our cause and help out the foundations we're working with, you can buy some of the artworks. So please feel free to ask questions later on. Thank you. Uh-oh, there's a change of subject, city urban. So you need to add some cityscapes around your unicorn. On va switcher à la ville dans deux minutes. Quoi? Le thème de la ville dans deux minutes. La ville? Ouais, ça va changer. <laughs> One minute and we're changing. Oui, je sais. Mais il faut me dire un prix aussi. So it's the opposite, we're switching. Where is it? Part of my face. What if I picked all of them? Uh, that would be very hard. Yeah, they were gonna do all that one, like paint a city with a finger. Oh, yeah. Well, we can still have constraints later. We'll see. Parking Terminal 3. Oh, Terminal 3, doon po. Pa sa kanan ah, po tayo doon. Okay, doon? Kanan, tapos kaliwa? Oh, mga 6 a.m. meron na yan. Okay, thank you. Can, we, can someone tell about? So, yeah, I sometimes feel like I'm the mom in the team. Uh, plus, I'm the only woman, so it's uh, it's like I feel like these are my, my kids and my boys and I need to take care of them. I just had all the um, responsibilities, making sure the partnerships, the sponsorships, everything is on point. With Henry, it's quite uh, complimentary. Um, him being the like the free-spirited artist, never making sure he's on time. <laughs> so yeah, in the end, uh, Henry also takes care of um, of being the, ch the chaperone in the team, uh, knowing how to speak Tagalog and everything, and uh, um, just introducing the Filipino culture to all of our other French artists. And so in the end, he's kind of like the dad, the crazy dad in the team. <laughs> It's really, really amazing to see how many people we've touched with this program. I really believe that this is going to live on and we'll be back also, of course. Ugnayan continues. Click for next episode.